Hello, hello. Um, no, I'm not driving. <laughs> My emergency self would never do that. Um, so wait for a couple of people to pop on maybe so we can talk live. I am here just about to walk into a shift. Uh, emergency medicine, working some evenings this week, which is unlike me, so they've been super busy. I miss my night shifts. Um, hi, Natasha. Um, hi, Taylor. Taylor, nice to see you, love. Um, so a couple things this week. It's been a little bit of a rough week for me. I, um, I have a back injury from when I was like 17 and I skied off of a cliff and mammoth <laughs> fractured some vertebra. And it does like act up every once in a while. But on Sunday, I threw it out and lit. Hi, Vicki. Hi, KK. And I literally could not get off the floor for like hours. <laughs> my children were like fetching things for me until my husband woke up and I had to be like pried up off the ground. And I took the first shift off um, in my entire career. I called out. So 15 years, I've never called out of work. So I learned something. I learned a little bit about vulnerability. I learned a little bit about saying I'm human and it's okay to ask for help. Um, things are getting a little bit better from that perspective. Hi Ben, hi Lisa. Um, and so it's just a little bit about vulnerability, right? And asking for help and telling people that you need someone to work for them, telling your people in your home that you can't bend over or put your shoes or socks on. <laughs> Um, but with a little bit of rest and heat and some carefully tailored meds, I'm doing better. But what it brought up to me was this. So exercise obviously is super important to me. Um, I post all the time about it. If you're, you know, my personal Facebook friend, you'll see my stories are just like constantly about exercise. Hi, Mike. Um, but what it comes down to when we're talking about um, exercise, exercise is essential for long-term health cardiovascular health, metabolic health. We've been able to show that exercise is able to decrease your risk of cancer. It can help you reverse diabetes, prevent diabetes, tons and tons of reasons to exercise. Um, muscular tone, bone strength, especially as we get older. Um, but um, it is not a weight loss tool. It can be a weight management tool, but it is not a weight loss tool. So one of the things that I've realized, you know, the summer when I got busy for about 10 days and had a lot of business and stuff to take care of, or this week when I was um, stuck on the floor, um, I no longer like panicked because I wasn't able to exercise because I know that the choices I make around why I eat and when I eat and what I eat is what's essential. And what that is, is unprocessing. Hi Sharon, hi Michelle. It is about um, controlling the, emo uh, the emotionality about why you're eating and what you're eating. Hi Basia. And um, what's essential about that is that you are, you are choosing what to eat um, for your future self. Hi Rita, you're always gonna make better decisions ahead of time than you do in the moment. And so that why is essential. And that's why we do so much mindset work um, here with our, um, with us here in my Holist tribe, right? Um, what else did I want to talk about? Um, the overwhelm, right? So this week too, I had tons of things that I had on my to-do list, whether it was for family or whether it was for my emergency medicine work or whether it's for my nonprofit work or whether it's for you guys in Holist um, and all the folks that are in my coaching program, there's just a never ending list. And a lot of that is of course entirely self-inflicted, which I totally get. Um, but when there is that period when you're vulnerable, when you can't get to the things that you or someone else expects you to do, um, there is that period of overwhelm. And overwhelm I think is sort of on the same, um, level as uh, the resistance that I talked about not that long ago, if you look back on the posts, um, but it's a little bit different. So resistance is that feeling that you feel inside of you when you're like, it's fear around decision making or it's procrastination around decision making or it's just not taking action or it's analyzing, analyzing, analyzing or collecting information instead of acting. Hi Jessica, hi Nancy. Um, overwhelm is a symptom of resistance, I think. Overwhelms that feeling of like, I'm just gonna blow this all up because clearly I can't handle it. Um, and I fought with that this week um, as my own type of resistance. 
Um, I think it's important for us all just to be honest about that because it's easy to have imposter syndrome and think that you don't know what everyone else knows or you can't do what everyone else can do. You're just faking it and someone's going to like discover you, <laughs> right? We all feel like that. I lecture about that all the time at conferences. Um, but this, so I'm just trying to be as real as possible, right? Resistance is real. We all have it. Overwhelm is real. We all have it. Those periods of vulnerability, we all have it. We need to talk about it. We need to realize what we need to push through, who we need on our team and how you can get there so that you can make the progress and the action that you need to do to get to the goals that you have, whatever they are. Um, so that's about me. I'm a minute late to work. <laughs> So I'm going to go. Um, oh, the other thing that happened to me this week is I ran out of gas. I ran out of gas, guys. Like, literally, I could see my house. <laughs> and I ran out of gas. So, luckily, it wasn't too far away because it was, like, an, at, like, at 1 in the morning. And I parked on my neighbor's curb because I had no other choice. And I had to email them and be like, I was not drunk driving. <laughs> I was coming home from work, I swear. So, it is what it is, right? Vulnerability. Uh, my person on my team that helped me with that is my amazing husband who fetched it for me in the morning and figured everything out and feeds me all the time and is lovely. So, hi Josh, hi Mildred. So, I'm going to head into work for um, a shift here and do some emergency medicine work. I will be back uh, to talk to you guys all later. I want you guys to drop, hi Kathy, hi Free. I want you guys to drop um, into the comments. I want you to be real here. What o has overwhelmed you this week? What has made you vulnerable this week? What resistance have you tried to meet or failed to meet this week? Or, um, you know, what should you have asked help for that you didn't? Um, and let's talk about it because we got to figure this out. We got to push through um, and we got to take that action uh, to get to that future you that you want. So hi, Erin. Um, so I, I'm going to go. I'm late. Ciao.